So rather than starting there and having to work really hard, I'm going to work smart. I'm going to start in the apices. So here, 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 here. And that way I reduce the tension at the point of most tension. So for the deep down wall, you go from deep to superficial. I need to continue suturing. So grab it with the forcep. Like so. Mount it straight away so I don't waste time. And then I go from a mounted grip to a palmed grip. So it's this transition from deep to superficial. And then to go to superficial to deep, I take my fingers out of the needle holder. And I can just rotate the instrument in my fingers like this. So that's it there. I slide my fingers down, push it through a little bit more, follow the curve so I don't rip the skin and pull the suture along the wound axis. So not up in the air, but along it. So now I've got a long and a short end. Same thing applies. I'm going to do two revolutions, then one revolution on the needle holder. One, two. But this time you lay the knot parallel to the wound. It's opened a bit. It might pull out. So for the deep dermal, it's a buried knot, so you can cut this flush. I don't want to see the suture above the skin.